Hello and welcome. Welcome to your December 2021 Taroscopes with me, Intuitive Renee. It's always such an honor and a privilege to be here to, to do these videos for you. And I do so enjoy doing the Taroscopes. So what is Taroscopes? What are Taroscopes? So Taroscopes are 12 videos, 12 individual separate videos with the same structure. <laughs> so basically it's 12 readings that I do with for each sign of the zodiac to give you a little bit of insight a little bit of information a little bit of guidance a little bit of preparedness for the month ahead and usually when i do the taroscopes i usually have a sort of the same reading that i do where we draw the same kind of spread the same kind of layout but this month i thought i would change it up a little bit because it is december we are going into the last month of 2021 I can't quite wrap my head around that it's just it's crazy the end of 2021 we, we're there we've done that and I'm one of those kind of uh, people who believe that there's certain lessons and certain objectives and certain things that we have to go through during the year that the universe that spirit have put laid out in front of us and if we don't achieve if we don't process if we don't go through that if we don't have the understanding then maybe we carry it over into next year and we're all carrying a lot okay <laughs> our shoulders are all quite heavy laden so i want to help you to make sure that you're not carrying any excess baggage any excess lessons, learning objectives and understandings into 2022. So with that said, what I thought I would do with the Terrascopes for December is we're going to have a look at like for each sign of the zodiac, what was the main objective that you needed to experience to learn or to understand during 2021. We're going to look at where you are now and we're going to look at where you're moving to. So we're sort of going to see that that progression and then I've got a couple of other things that we're going to do so basically the idea here is that hopefully this particular reading is going to help you tick all the boxes for 2021 okay tick all the boxes to make sure that as you progress into into 2022 that we're we're leaving all our baggage behind that we've done everything we needed to we've understood and processed and handled everything that we needed to and that we are clear to move forward and to start 2022 off with a clear slate that we've got nothing unresolved um that we we need to that we need to still handle as well so it's about just eliminating a little bit of the baggage and clearing the way so that you can move into 2022 and have an awesome year because i really am very confident that 2022 is going to be better than 2021 and we all know that 2021 has been better than 2020 we've had our challenges this year there's no doubt about it and we probably will have some more challenges going forward but generally speaking i think it's going to be awesome so let me just take a minute here to explain taroscopes um so it, it's done based on your sun sign so whether you're an Aries, a Pisces, or whatever it may be, okay, and I record the, each reading with the intention that it be relevant and appropriate for your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign. So those of you who are into astrology and know all of those things, you can go and read or watch or listen to those videos as well, those readings to get additional information or insight. But typically, sun signs is sufficient, okay? So you know what your sun sign is, um, and if you don't, you know, I'm happy to, to give you the little list of born between these dates, this is what your sign is kind of thing. Um, but it is always nice to know what your moon sign is or what your rising sign is. Google is your friend there, okay? Google will help you as to how to figure it out, how to get it, and what it all means. So, so do go and Google it for that information. But I, I create these videos with the intention to help you on those areas, on those aspects of yourself. For each sign of the zodiac so each reading has the same structure i'm using the same set of cards in the same format or the same layout but obviously the information that i receive and that i read in the cards will be different for each sign of the zodiac so um i will flip the camera around so that you will see the cards you will see the the table um just to make it easier so that it gives you something to focus on and it, it saves me having to hold up a whole bunch of cards i do hope that you enjoy your reading i do hope that it helps you to tick all the boxes that december needs you to tick so that we can go into 2022 better 
ready, more prepared, all of those kind of things. And obviously this, this is a free service that I'm offering. All I ask in return is that you show your appreciation by giving the video a, a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done, please do click that subscribe button. Um, and the other thing that you could possibly do if you want more interaction with me and more from me is maybe consider clicking that join button down there and joining the YouTube family. Um, basically what that means, it is a monthly subscription service that gives you all sorts of access to, to various services that I offer one of them being free readings every Wednesday evening. So every Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. South African time, I do a live reading. You get to post a question and I answer for you on the spot. So do consider clicking that join button now. But anyway, let's get on to your reading. I'm going to flip the camera and let's get started. Okay, Libra, let's get into your reading and see what December 2021 has in store for you, what you need to do, what you need to learn, what you need to understand. So we're doing things a little bit differently this month. Um, I am working with the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. That's what this deck is. And I also have an Oracle deck over there, which is the Wisdom of the Oracle. I want to just make sure I give these cards as much of a shuffle as I possibly can. I did shuffle off camera as well, but I do like to just let you see me shuffle to make sure that there's transparency. <laughs> All right, Libra. So we're shuffling the cards. We're doing things a bit differently this month. And like I said, we, we're looking to see what was the function or the purpose or the objective of 2021. What do you still need to do to achieve that? And what, you know, just what else needs to be sorted and resolved in December of 2021 before you go into 2022. Right, I think those cards are quite well and truly shuffled. Let's just do a bit of overhand shuffling. So from the tarot deck, I'm going to draw five cards, which we've got five different questions that we're going to be looking at. And I must say the, the answers or the readings so far have been really, really interesting. And once we've done that, we will draw from the oracle as well. Right. Tarot is quite well shuffled. I'm going to cut the deck over there and we're going to draw cards straight off the top from that. So where the first card we're going to be looking at is going to give you the objective of 2021. What was the plan? What did Spirit have planned for you in 2021? We're then going to look at how are you doing? Where are you at at the moment? Okay, so this is the objective, what was supposed to happen. This is where you're at now. And then we're going to have a look at, I just want to make some space. And then we're going to have a look at what's coming up next for you. We're also going to have a look at what do you still need to learn and overcome or resolve in 2021. And we're also going to look at what you can take away from 2021 and carry with you into 2022. Let's pick up the oracle. Um, so these I can only do overhand shuffles because they're huge. Let's give it a quick shuffle. We're just drawing a single card from this oracle deck, which we will look at once we have done all the other cards. Once we've looked at the tarot, we will look at the oracle. And this is going to give you just clarification, validation, just extra information, whatever spirit feel we need to know once we have processed the whole reading. So we're going to just shuffle and draw one card from here. I think that's a good enough shuffle. I'm saying that and I do one more. Okay, we're going to cut the deck there and we're going to take that card on top all right so libra we have got all our cards laid out let's get straight into the reading and see what do you still need to do what do you need to know around december 2021 so that we are ready and prepared to move into 2022 so the first card that we're going to have a look at over here is as i said to you it is the objective of 2021 so what what did spirit want for you to experience, to learn, and to understand during 2021. We have got Page of Wands energy. I love the vibrancy of this deck. The colors are just amazing. So Page of Wands energy, let's try and understand. First of all, you can see it's a young person, okay? You can see that there's youth, youthfulness, <laughs> a youthful kind of glow about them, all right? They're quite young. What does that mean when somebody is young? It means that they've still got a lot to learn. It means that they might not always fully understand and comprehend situations and circumstances, but they also have that 
enthusiasm and that vibrancy about them. Also, they have lack of fear. I think fear really generally comes in only as we become adults and suddenly we understand consequences and we understand, you know, uh, the severity of situations and then suddenly we become a little bit fearful. So page of wands in relation to an objective for the year. I think this is spirit saying that during this year, you needed to become a little bit more playful. You needed to become a little bit more open minded. You needed to become a little bit more enthusiastic and expressive around your circumstances, your situation and your life. You needed to let go of responsibility and to just take every day as it comes. So that was the objective, the overall objective for 2021 for you that Spirit had intended. Now we're going to have a look at where are you? <laughs> so in relation to that, where are you? What are you actually feeling and experiencing right now in relation or comparison to the objective? And the card that we have there is a major arcana card of temperance. So temperance is, is very, very interesting indeed. And what we've got here, and, and, and it's, it's difficult to see, but if you imagine you're inside a building and there's this, I'm going to call it a sunroof, um, a, a I don't know, a, a window in the roof, okay? And there is this light streaming in. And we have this angelic being with the most beautiful big wings. And in the one hand, they've got fire. They've got control of fire. And in the other hand, they've got water. And it's flowing down. I love how this light creates half and half of light and shadow. And that is exactly what temperance is. Temperance is the card of balance. It's the card of understanding everything and trying to find balance balance between the two so spirit wanted you in 2021 spirit wanted you to be a little bit more enthusiastic laid back childlike fun carefree you know it, it, all of those kind of things and you're trying so hard but you're still trying to keep yourself current and active as an adult with responsibilities and you're trying to find your playful side so you're trying very hard to find that balance between the two and i think there's something quite magical and special about that isn't it so so it doesn't look awful so far so far it looks like you're doing okay now based on this card based on you trying to find your your space, your place, and your validation. While you're trying to do that, what's next for you? Where is it taking you to next? That's what this card's going to give you. Based on this, based on where you are, what's next? Let's see. Okay, so we have got the three of coins, okay, three of pentacles in traditional tarot. And you can see here we have a gentleman who was hard at work and he's throwing his heart and soul into creating these beautiful discs of whatever so he, this is the card of hard work it's the card of people noticing all the work that you're putting into it so libra when i look at these three together spirit said 2021 you're going to learn to be a little bit more playful you're going to learn to take things a little bit more casually you're going to be a little bit more enthusiastic and a little bit more motivated and not so full of fear and judgment and ridicule you that's who that's the objective you're at the moment you're halfway there okay you're halfway there and you're still trying to find your balance you're still trying to find what is the best way to to be yourself this is going to take you to where people are going to recognize all the work that you've put into yourself, where people are going to start noticing the effort that you're doing. So right now, maybe nobody's noticing. Right now, maybe people are still thinking or seeing you in the same way that you've always been. But going forward, people are going to suddenly start paying attention, saying, hold a second, who are you? Well, what happened? Why are you changed? Why are you different? They may not even fully understand quite what's different because you're still working on it, okay? So from these three cards, Libra, what comes through really strongly is that this objective, it's not done yet, okay? You haven't achieved this. You haven't completed it because you're still working in the future. That being said, we've still got a month to go, you know? 2021's not done yet. 2021 is still in progress. We've still got December. When this video was recorded, it is late November, early December. So you've still got, call it four weeks, call it five weeks, depending on when you watch this video. You've still got a bit of time to achieve this, to complete this, to process this. Now, coming down to card four, card four is what do you still need to learn, do, or overcome, or understand, or achieve in order to achieve that objective. So this is going to help you figure this out. All right. 
to complete this, to resolve this, to work through this. So let's have a look and see, Libra, what do we have for you? Eight of Cups. Gosh, so Eight of Cups, very interesting, is the card of walking away. Eight of Cups is the card of recognizing the battles that you can win and the battles that you can't win and being very selective as to what you can and can't do and being very selective of what you choose to participate in, what you choose to get involved in and what you choose not to. So it's interesting because here you're trying to fix everything. You're trying to hold on to that balance. And it's very interesting, Libra, that um, Libra came up with all this balance and hard work because isn't that what the Libra Zodiac is all about? The Libra Zodiac is all about doing the right thing and balance and scales and all of that. So it's, it's very interesting how it's all coming through. This is Spirit saying to you, in the month of December, before 2021 is finished, before we complete this chapter, before we go into 2022, recognize that you can't be all things to all people. You can't fix everything. You can't be that that you want to be. Stop trying so hard to find the balance, to find that sweet spot, and actually choose your battles. Choose the aspects of yourself that you can work on, that you want to work on, and leave the rest alone. And I know that's easier said than done. I really, really do. But it is important. Okay. So this is what you still need to work on in December of 2021. Because the other thing that I really want to add here is we don't want to carry this energy, these two. We don't want to carry that energy into 2022 because 2022 comes in in a completely different vibration. 2022 is going to be completely different to 2021. And actually, we don't want to carry anything over if we don't have to. Because we 2022 plate is already full. There's already a lot that needs to be done, resolved, processed. So if we can leave stuff behind, let's do that. So Libra, work on that as much as you can. I know it's going to be difficult. I know it's a challenge. But do it. All right? Do the best that you can to not try and be all things to all people all the time. Recognize the things that you want to work on and want to focus on. That being said... Our final tarot card here is what you can take from 2021 into 2022. So all these lessons, all these experiences, all these situations that you've been through in 2021, which of those can you and should you carry with you? So this we're going to leave behind, but what can we take into 2022? I love this. You know what? So, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes readings can just blow my mind. So the card of what you can take with you into 2022 is a major arcana card of the sun. Oh, that sun streaming in. That's what we're holding on to. The sun being a major arcana card, you know, we all understand that the sun is the center of our universe. We all understand that the sun is the beginning and the end of our everything. If we don't have the sun, we die, okay? We all know that the sun brings happiness. It brings life. It gives life to our planet, to each one of us, to the plants, to the animals, to everything. Without the sun, we would be nothing. This is what you can take with you into 2022. The sun's interpretation is happiness, joy, success, abundance. You know, any kind of positive word that you can think of is the interpretation for the sun. And considering... The objective of the year was to be a little bit more relaxed, childlike, happy, motivated, enthusiastic, you know, all of those kind of positive energies. That was the objective. This is Spirit saying to you, take that with you into 2022. Don't carry these burdens. Don't carry those stresses into next year. Let's leave them behind, okay? Let's leave them behind. But let's take this, this I want to call it this innocent passion and enthusiasm for life. Let's take that with us into 2022. Everything else stays behind. <laughs> Everything else stays behind, Libra. We're not going to worry about that. We're only going to take those parts of ourselves that we that bring happiness, that put a smile on your face. So the memories, the circumstances, the situations, the learnings, the understandings, the comprehensions that put a smile on your face, that, that put a, a feeling of happiness and joy in your heart, that's what you're going to take into 2022. The worry, the stress, and the anxiety we're leaving behind. All right. Let's have a look at our Oracle card. So as I said to you, this Oracle card is either going to give validation, confirmation, or clarity on what we've already covered. Um, and let's just see what it is. 
regeneration. How fabulous is that? So if we look at this card, card 46, to me, it looks like this is a, a volcano, one that is, it's either about to erupt or it has just erupted. But look at all this hot lava sort of, that's the way that I see it under the ground. We have this light shining and illuminating. We have a single tree that's got just a, a couple of leaves still on it. But you know what? It doesn't matter what this tree is going through. It doesn't matter what is happening beneath the surface. That tree continues to thrive. It continues to grow. It continues to exist. Okay. And I do think it ties in so beautifully with this particular reading. That tree is not getting caught up in the chaos and the drama of what's burning under the surface. That tree is sort of reaching up to the light. <laughs> Can you see me pointing to the sun? It's reaching up to the light and it's saying, heal me, feel me, fix me, make me wonderful, give me the energy that I need to achieve the things that I need to achieve so that I can continue to grow. It's about overcoming your obstacles. It's about regeneration. And, you know, sometimes we have to burn to the ground before we allow ourselves to grow again from the roots up. So, Libra, 2021 has been tough. It's been hard. It's been, it's been a challenge. I mean, we're not going to lie, okay? Let's try and take an easier approach to everything. Let's make sure that as we go complete 2021 and move into 2022, let's make sure we do it with, with as much passion and enthusiasm and excitement as you can. Let's regenerate ourselves from the ground up, but only with positive emotions and positive energy. Let's leave all the challenges and all the difficulties and all the complications behind. All right. So Libra, I hope this reading helps. I hope it helps you through the last month of 2021 and gives you excitement and enthusiasm for 2022. And as always, with love and blessings from my heart to yours. And until we connect again, take care.